Just a very quick video today. Uh, this is part of another video, taking down the wall. But I thought I'd just mention, when you're working with old stone walls like this, it's just, it shows how well things were done back then. Um, and the benefit of lime. And I've mentioned it again and again when we've been plastering or restoring the house. But you just cannot beat lime for a, a mortar for when you're using natural stone, especially in a solid wall like this. So I'm taking it apart bit by bit and I'm trying to say it, salvage all of the limestone so I can reuse it. And it's just so much easier than if it had been bung together with cement mortar like it would nowadays. So for example, I'm just kind of using an SDS all the way through here, loosening it up. But you can see this is a, an exposed stone wall, really battered by the rain. But you can just see how dry it stayed because of all the lime that's stayed breathable. And when you're demolishing it, it's even easier with brick than lime mortar, but the stones just come out perfect, almost like they've just been quarried. Uh, and they're pretty much bone dry. We're getting pretty low down in the wall now, so I will expect them to be a little bit, um, not damp, but you know, a higher moisture level than up top. But up top, they're all over there now. But you know, you're talking about just really nice bone dry stones that we can then reuse again. You start using cement mortar and then 20 years time you do some alterations. All that stone is probably gonna have to be skipped and it might be crushed down and used for something else, but it can never be, you know, all these are hand cut and hand dressed stones. And it's also amazing how lightweight the lime mortar is. Because this is a rubble wall, you've got two faces of stone done nicely and then the, the middle is kind of backfilled with smaller bits of stone and lime mortar but the weight of it is a real lightweight um, kind of mix but because of that and because it allows the building to flex more you don't end up cracking or anything like that so whether there's movement in the floor or from a road or anything like that um, it's so forgiving as building material I mean this has got loads of little bits of coal in, slag and bits, uh, because we're in a coal mining area historically. But yeah, they definitely did it right back then. Right, I'm gonna get back on with this mess job, and I'm sure this video will be out soon, but there's my, uh, me singing the praises again for Lime, and how they did it back then. And just to mention, if you wanna see any of those videos on the breathable plasters, the Lime hemp, keeping solid floors, uh, solid walls, breathable, things like that, then I will put any of those at the end of this video. Apart from that, thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time.